In this video, I'm going to make a Blukit, a 20 question Blukit using ChatGPT 4.0, much as I did in the last video on Kahoot. So, first of all, three things again that you'll need. This time, Blukit account logged in. Second thing, there is a file, and I'll show you how to get this from the Blukit website, which is again a spreadsheet. Subtle difference that you'll see that I'll be doing something slightly different to Kahoot. Not overly complicated though. Anyway, you'll obviously need Microsoft Excel and you download that file from the Blue Kit website, as I said. Third thing you will need is ChatGPT. Now, exactly the same prompt as I used with the Kahoot. And in case you haven't seen that video, I'll go through it. So it said, could you create a 20 question quiz? So of course you can change that number there. And I've said on Star Wars episode four with four possible answers and output as delimited text separated by tabs. As I said in the last one, you don't need to worry what that means. Next thing, the sixth column should contain the number 15, just as with Kahoot, that's the length of time that each question can last. Seventh column should be the answer from one to four. And as I also pointed out in the last one, chat GPT can make mistakes. So whether it's after you've actually created these questions within chat, GB, chat GPT, maybe you want to read through them then, or within, probably easier actually to view them within the Excel spreadsheet, I would say, and then of course make any changes, just after having checked if those questions make sense and whether the answers are actually correct. A last thing is don't include question numbers, don't include headings. Now, just as I did in the last video as well, I'm going to turn my watch to stopwatch and I'm going to press enter. Interesting to see if these are the same questions. I'm not too sure if they are. Anyway, this is going to basically just tick along until it comes up with the appropriate number of questions. So 20 is what we'd said. Once that's done, we're going to go to this part there that says copy code. It's finished. Yes, it is. So we're going to copy that code. Then we're going to go down to the spreadsheet, right click right in this cell here. As you can see, that's for question number one. And where are we? Paste special. I'm going to go down to paste special here and select text and OK. Those are the questions here. Now, the difference between Kahoot and with Blukit, Kahoot likes an Excel file. I think it was XLXS. Possibly with this, we have to actually save as an, a CSV file. So file, save as, and I'm going to go here. Where is CSV? There it is, MS-DOS comma separated values. That's what we want. What will I call it? I'll call that Star Wars as well. In fact, I'll call it Star Wars Blue Kit. And save it to the desktop, and that is just the right. us we'll go to chrome again and go to blue kit and we'll click create now here i'm going to give this a title before i get started star wars and then click csv import and create this is the place in fact where you can import that blank spreadsheet if you need to so copy or download or template this is exactly when i got it but i'm going to click upload and there it is there star wars blue kit open and that's us. Wow, 20 questions just like that. And it's just under two minutes. We've made the two minutes. If I just want to have a, just a quick check of these questions, what's the name of Han Solo's ship, Millennium Falcon? That all makes perfect sense. And of course I can be saving at this point. So give it a go. In the description, I will place of course the prompt that you can use change it around so obviously you can just you know decide on the topic of the quiz but try that yourself in chat gpt and in less than two minutes you have a blue kit and hopefully a bit of peace and quiet as the, the pupils actually get on with it see you in the next one